Hi everyone, and welcome to AutoCAD. My name is Ari, and I'm an AutoCAD certified professional with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to be learning about the new changes to the Trim and Extend commands in AutoCAD 2021. Trim and Extend can be found in the Modify panel of our ribbon. Here is Trim. Right now, the word isn't displayed, but the icon is essentially scissors. And Extend looks like a line that is indicating that a line is going to extend through these dashed lines to this line right here. Let's use Trim first. So now we have the option of essentially using what's called Quick Trim, and this is what's new in AutoCAD 2021. Quick Trim basically just allows you to automatically delete anything, and it notices whenever an object intersects another object, it becomes a cutting edge, so to speak. You can actually see that cutting edges is the next thing we're going to be talking about in this command list. So as a result, when I want to trim, you can see that when I mouse over something, it notices that any other intersection is a cutting edge. And so as a result, I can quickly trim if I want to respect all of these cutting edges and respect all of these objects and lines in this shape right here. So this is great. So I can essentially quickly trim just like that. Let's undo that and let's do the next tool, cutting edges. This is a bit sophisticated and very cool. What you can do is now you can either select all objects on the screen and use them as cutting edges, which isn't necessary because Quick Trim essentially accomplishes that without having to select the objects. And in this case, let's say that I only wanted to include certain objects as cutting edges. So I'm just going to choose these three right here, and then I'm going to press enter. As a result of this, any other object is not a cutting, cutting edge. So I can start to delete essentially or trim from this line here, but this line is not recognized as a cutting edge. Therefore, I can basically delete the whole line without having to worry about this line interfering. But if I was to try to delete this line, it will pass through this line, which is not part of the selection, but it'll stop right there at this line. And so that's what cutting edges does. It's quite nice. It allows you to bypass certain edges and to include other edges. So it could be quite useful when trimming areas, especially this example right here with this line is a great example of that. Before we move on to the next function, I wanted to clarify that I was selecting two objects while I was demonstrating the cutting edges function and not three objects. These two objects are this line and this line. Let's click on the trim function. And if we click and let go of our left mouse button, we can trim in a straight line. We can also click and hold our left mouse button. And this time we can draw a line in any direction that we'd like and we can trim multiple objects very quickly this way. Let's press undo, and let's look at our next function in the trim command line. Crossing is quite interesting. We can essentially trim multiple objects in a cross just like this. However, if an object is not necessarily intersecting another object, but it's just meeting it at an intersection, then that object is not necessarily going to be trimmed. So you can see that by this horizontal line right here, and these triangular lines here. And you can see that as I don't stop including this object here, this object is now intersecting and therefore will be trimmed at that point right there. So crossing is quite interesting. Let's reinitiate trim one more time and let's look at mode. Mode allows us to switch between quick trim, which is the new default trim, to standard, which is considered the old trim. So let's switch it to standard. Initially, nothing happens, and we could see some of the old settings here, but the best way to use this is to reinitiate trim. So I'm going to press the escape key and then click on trim again. And now all of our trim functions have changed and we just have mode available. And that's because by default standard is essentially cutting edges. So now I can click on these lines here and use them as cutting edges when I trim, but lines that don't intersect cannot be trimmed. So this is the old way that trim used to work. You can see here that this line is working as intended right here and here, and basically all of these are working as intended. Now let's press the escape key. Let's click on trim again, and we're gonna switch our mode back to the quick mode. I find that the quick mode is quite useful and it allows us to perform multiple actions very quickly and we have more options with this quick mode. Let's move on to our next function. After mode is project. This is a very sophisticated tool and a bit difficult to use at first, but it's relatively simple to understand. We can trim based on a projection, or we can choose not to. 
And so by default, we're trimming based on our UCS, which is using our X and Y coordinate system. We can see on the left side, we have a little X and Y system here. And so basically our trim is going to be in 2D. And if there are 3D objects, we're not going to be trimming them. None is very similar to this because none basically says that you can only trim in 2D and that's it. If we wanted to, and if we had 3D objects, we could trim according to a view. If this view was a different rotation, or if instead of using the top view, and we can see that we're using that here in the upper right, we could switch to other views and we can trim based on those views. So we could go to the left view, the right view. Here I'll go into orthographic just to show you all. But in this case, we have only 2D objects here, so we're not gonna be demonstrating the trim projection. I think that we'll save that for another tutorial. Moving on, let's go back to our trim function. And the last function is erase. And so in a very interesting way, you can essentially use trim to erase entire objects. This is a little bit redundant since we already have the erase tool, which is located in the modify panel right next to trim. But while you're using trim, you can use it to erase and therefore it supersedes the erase tool. So that could be quite useful, especially if you're using trim multiple times when you're drawing. Let's see how the extend command has changed in AutoCAD 2021. We can click on the drop down next to trim and let's select extend. We have different functions to look at at the bottom of our screen, but first let's use extend by default. So extend is essentially the inverse of trim. As I mouse over any object, it wants to extend to the next object that it's going to intersect if it was to extend past the object. So that's why this line wants to extend here. But if I move myself towards the other side of an object, then the object wants to extend closer to whatever it's going to intersect on the other side. So I can extend to the right or the left in this way very quickly. The same goes for this object here. There's nothing to extend to on the upper right, so nothing happens to those lines, nor is there anything on this line. So it even shows that there is a little circle with a slash going through it, saying that the object cannot extend left or right, in this case, this object cannot extend to the right, but it can extend to the left. And so this is basically how extend works by default, and this is considered quick extend. Now we can click on boundary edges, and we can essentially select objects, and we can basically choose which object we want to use as our boundary edges, very similar to cutting edges. So any object that's not selected in the extend is not going to be extended. However, if we have an object that's not extend selected and it is about to cross something that has been chosen as a boundary edge, then it will extend to that boundary edge. So it doesn't have to be selected to extend to it, but that's why these other objects are not working. I'm going to demonstrate that one more time and we're going to select less objects. We're just going to select these two like we did before and press enter. And now we can extend this object to this one, this one to this one, and the other ones are not going to basically change because they are not intersecting or they would not intersect the object if they were to pass through it. And so this is how extend works when you're using boundary edges. Let's reinitiate the command and let's look at crossing. This is just like we used the crossing before. We can essentially cross over certain lines and once we select them, AutoCAD is going to find which line you, it wants to cross into. But if you select all of these lines, then AutoCAD is going to think that you don't want to extend to lines that are within the selection. So if you want to just have one line extended to another, just select a portion of it, such as this one right here, which wants to extend to the left. And as I continue selecting objects, these objects want to extend to other objects. But if I was to basically enclose them and to move past their midpoint, then AutoCAD thinks that I want to extend to the object at the top, and that's why this behavior is happening right here, where I can extend to the bottom of this object or from the top right there. And so that's basically how crossing works with the extend function. Let's look at the next function in the extend command. Here we can go to mode, and just like with trim, we can change from quick to standard. That functions basically identically. Let's click on standard and let's see what other options that we have. We'll press the escape key, click on extend, and once again, the extend is back to the usual boundary edges setting that is essentially replacing the standard way of using extend. So now if I wanted to extend a certain edges, I would click on this edge here, and then I could allow this line to extend to it. 
and that is the only edge that it, it can extend to. And that is basically how that works. Let's press the escape key, and let's go back to extend, and let's switch our mode back to quick, press escape, reinitiate the command, and there we go. Now, of course, we have project at the end for extend, and just like with trim, we can choose none, UCS, or view for our projection. And so that is essentially the trim and extend commands in a nutshell. Thank you very much for watching our tutorial on the trim and extend commands in AutoCAD 2021. Once again, my name is Ari, and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day.